Okay, this is my Sima XAW. I've modified it quite extensively to have a 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter on it. Uh, sorry about the blurry image, it'll focus now. I think it's a Sky Zone clone. Um, you'll see that this is the one with the 5 volt out, which is quite handy for attaching an FPV camera to. Uh, the camera that I'm using on this particular setup is an 808 number 18 720p camera. It's got the D lens or the 120 degree lens. And you can see it's uh, connected with the USB out. This is wired in through that bunch of cables in between the two uh, sandwiches of the credit card mount. Uh, you'll see I've got a circular polarized antenna on there. The uh, rubber ducky antenna that came with the transmitter apparently is no good. I haven't even tried it. You can see I'm drawing the power for the unit directly from the 2S battery. That is the stock battery that comes with the thing, the Sama. I've got a strap of Velcro holding it all in place just to make sure it doesn't fall out. You'll see there's a, a black strap, a little lanyard that goes to the camera. That is to stop it from getting lost in case it comes off, but you'll see I've also velcroed it onto the credit card mount and uh, strapped it down with a battery strap. All in all this works exceptionally well. Uh, the whole thing is held onto, onto the top of the Sama X8 with velcro and a battery strap. Uh, you'll see now, let's just put it on the scale. I don't know how accurate the scale is, but I think for purposes of this exercise, it's fine. 614 grams, all up weight, battery, camera, transmitter, the whole shebang, Velcro straps, everything. You'll see there, I've also made the landing gear of the Sama removable. I've attached it to a plyboard mount that I cut out using a Dremel tool. That Velcro's onto the bottom and the credit card mount can actually velcro onto the bottom of that as well. I've simply used zip ties or cable ties to fasten the original Sama legs to the actual landing gear. Um, I generally fly without the landing gear because the landings tend to be quite bouncy and it always lands on its roof or topples over so it's uh, quite difficult to take off again. But there you'll see uh, just roughly what that setup looks like. It actually does strap on with that same battery strap that's holding on the credit card mount. Um, there's the lanyard that's holding the camera in place across the front. And that's actually uh, tied to one of the structural mounts inside the body. Uh, you can't obviously see it from here, but basically inside the battery compartment, uh, it's tied onto there. So uh, the hope is that if I have a severely bad crash, and the camera does dislodge, it won't get lost. The USB simply connects to the side. This is the, the 808 number 18 camera does have AV out, which makes it beautiful for FPV flying. You can actually power the 808 directly from the VTX. Uh, because this one has got the 5 volt out, um, I generally fly it with the camera's own battery to make sure that the power is clean and also it's got a battery so it might as well, it might as well use it. But there it's, uh, as it's connected now, it's actually powered from the 5 volt out of the video transmitter and then you'll see the little red indicator light on the 808 camera showing that it's drawing power from, from the actual uh, video transmitter. So that is fantastic. It means you can fly for as long as what your, your battery of your your quid is lasting. The whole thing is detachable, you can actually take the camera off to go and charge it via USB. You'll see I've stuck some Velcro to the top and the bottom of it so I can mount it either way, upside down or the right way up. And um, that simply Velcro's onto the top there, like that. This is quite snug. Um, I've had a few fairly nasty wipeouts for this thing and the camera is yet to dislodge but um, you know, uh, I don't want to lose it, so. Okay, with the landing gear, let's just see how much the whole setup weighs. Sorry about the blurriness, it's, this is being filmed on a Samsung Galaxy S4, and it battles a bit with focus. I'll see, put the whole thing onto the scale. So all up weight with the detachable landing gear, you'll see now, I 
battling to get it to balance on there. 672 grams. So it's not too bad. Um, unfortunately, I didn't weigh the unit prior to all these modifications. There's the weight without the landing gear, 614 grams. There's the weight of, weight of the landing gear, detachable landing gear itself, 58 grams. Get a closer look there, there we go, 58 grams. Um, yeah, and all in all, it's it works extremely well. Um, at the end of this video, uh, there'll be some of the flight footage recorded by the 808 camera. Um, I did use this in a previous video that I've that I've published. Okay, it works pretty well. And just in case you were looking at turning your Sama X8 into a true FPV flyer, this is how it can be done. Um, I put the camera on top so that the landing gear could be removed. And as promised, here is some of the flight footage from the um, from the 808. This is the very first FPV flight that was done with this setup. It's done on a sports field at one of the local schools. You'll notice a little bit of jello, but the, the props have been balanced. Uh, I suspect that the antenna that's attached to the back of the credit card mount is causing a bit of vibration, so that maybe needs to be moved. It was a bit of a wind on this day, but otherwise it was uh, fairly calm. You'll see me sitting over there. I did make a pair of DIY FPV goggles, which I will make another video showing. My piloting skills need a bit of practice, but uh, we are certainly improving. Some people don't like the view of the props in the actual video. I quite like it. It uh, seems to give it a, more of a sense that you're actually piloting the vehicle. And that's my landing. A little bit on the rough side, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.